well-placed poem. Hello, it's Malcolm Cox here, and thanks for joining me for the Sunday Sample, episode 50. We've hit the half century, which is fantastic. So thanks again for joining me today. And this is on behalf of Corporate Worship Matters as well. The power of a well-placed poem. What are we talking about? Well, have you ever tried adding a poem into your corporate worship setting at some point in the service? I want to give you an example of what we did recently in the Thames Valley Churches of Christ. Uh, at the time when it came to the communion, I decided to place a poem in there. I had a look around, I had some read, did some reading, and I found a poem that I thought would connect well with the communion. So before Johan came up to share some thoughts, we put some words on screen and I read this poem. I read it out as well as having the words on screen. Now, let me read it to you and you can tell me what you think. I'll also put it in the show notes. It goes like this, and I'm going to read it now a bit quicker than I did on the day when I read it in a more meditative kind of a way. But it, it reads like this. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed, renewed, flowing from the grace that I've found in you. And Lord, I've come to know the weaknesses I see in me will be stripped away by the power of your love. Hold me close. Let your love surround me, bring me near, draw me to your side, and as I wait, I'll rise up like the eagle. I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on by the power of your love. Lord, unveil my eyes. Let me see you face to face, the knowledge of your love as you live in me. Lord, renew my mind as your will unfolds in my life, in living every day in the power of your love. Hold me close. Let your love surround me. Bring me near. Draw me to your side. And as I wait, I'll rise up like the eagle. I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on by the power of your love. I read that in a meditative way. And then Johann came up. So we did that instead of a song. Instead of having a song before the communion talk, read the poem instead. Now on reflection, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. I, I liked what we did and I'm glad we did it. But it wasn't quite connected enough to with what Johan said. What I should have done is what would have been better anyway would be to ask Johan the key thoughts and theme of his communion talk and then found a poem more directly connected with that. This poem does connect reasonably well with the idea of renewal and being refreshed and being drawn close to God. I think that's fine for the communion, but it didn't quite connect enough with what Johan was about to share. So my reflections and my lesson for next time would be ask the person what they're going to share and find some poetry that fits with that. Nonetheless, I'm glad we did it. And I wonder whether you've tried that. Have you tried using poetry uh, in your church services? And if so, what did you do? How did it go? What did you learn from it? Please let me know and uh, let us all know by leaving a comment wherever you see this recording because we learn best when we learn in community. If there's someone who could benefit from this, please pass the link on to them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's make sure everybody gets to know all about these recordings if it's gonna help them. Well, thanks so much, and I do pray the next time you gather with all of your friends and all the saints to worship our great God, you will be worshiping him with gladness, singing, with, singing joyful songs as we worship God together. Take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.